As we traverse this transition, we continue navigating the current planetary energies, becoming more aware of the inner and outer changes that are taking place in ourselves and the planet. I invite you to think of something that you wish to manifest. Let it be something that you have not yet manifested. It may be a dream or a goal that seems impossible or seems tricky or challenging to manifest. Maybe you only started focusing upon it recently. Or maybe you have been manifesting it for many years. I draw your attention to a dream or a goal, or maybe even a wish that, at this moment, feels impossible or unobtainable. I've been paying attention to shifts in the collective since the solar eclipse on April 8th. What I have been seeing is a lot of very deep things have been coming up in the collective that is beyond our current memory. Most of what is clearing out has little to do with our present life. What we are clearing now is linked to ancestral patterns, past lives and the massive collective global karma. It is a time of profound transformation, innovation, manifestation and expansion. However, if we go beyond this astrological meaning, the Earth is also experiencing many important changes that are key to our planetary evolution. Changes in the Earth's core, in the elementals, as they are too experiencing their own transfiguration process. And the solar return that our planet is experiencing since Aries, and that continues with Taurus. Whatever it might be, to think about it and to let its energy fill your body and your auric field so that you become this dream, goal or wish. It is important to allow the energies to radiate as they are. So if the dream, goal or wish feels impossible, that will also fill your body and your auric field. It is not necessarily thinking about the positive that which you wish for, but more so thinking about what you wish for and how you feel about it. Whether it feels easy, whether you feel empowered, or maybe it feels unobtainable or blocked. You honestly think about and embody this dream, goal or wish. We are healing humanity's trauma. Every layer of pain we heal within ourselves is an echo from previous generations and ancient lineages who could not heal it. Future generations will no longer need to deal with this heavy layer of trauma. This healing is our legacy, our gift to the future. The solar eclipse went very deep and triggered the collective solar plexus. It has impacted many people in different ways depending on what wave of their evolution they are on. Remember, the ascension process is not a straight path. The universe undulates like a colossal energy dragon. It ebbs and flows by its very nature. We can see that over time, we are evolving despite setbacks. We all can assist the planet independently of our personal mission. Guides invite all ascending souls who are guided to help at this time, to send love, compassion, and healing to our planet with the electric Arcturian protective oval shield. Projecting it from our hearts and extending the blue spectrum to cover our entire globe. If our intention is to create a protective shield around our planet, then we project the blue laser as it is very similar to that, from our third eye to protect it from non-benevolent attacks. We all have the power and inner guidance to connect to our soul and receive confirmation about what is the best way in which we can be of assistance. As you sit in this energy to contemplate, as if you're searching through the energy to begin to understand it, you may recognize that the outcome, the manifestation of the dream, goal or desire, whatever it may be, might be positive. It might feel empowering, 
it might feel like freedom or wealth or fulfillment and success. There might also be some fear that stepping into that energy fully and embodying that energy fully. That may cause tremendous change within your being and in your reality. You might recognize there are areas where you're blocking yourself because of beliefs. Maybe there are generational beliefs that have been handed down to you and you're living those at the moment. This post-eclipse time will affect everything under the sun. We don't know precisely what issues are being cleared out. Don't go looking for problems to fix. If an issue is in marching in your front door, it is yours to heal. We will wade through this bit of our evolution like old sludge. So bring out your inner child and your colorful mud boots, everyone. We got this. Most people on earth do not have the luxury of time to notice how things are shifting collectively. So we need to be kind and patient with everyone and ourselves. We might see people being more reclusive, more reactive. Easily angered, making rash decisions and burning bridges unnecessarily. Physically, we might feel deeply exhausted or manic or both and have headaches and ascension morning sickness. Our dream state could be heightened, revealing clues to what is being cleared out. As the masculine continues retrieving its original essence. And we continue shifting to allow this new order within our planet. Guide share working on compassion is pivotal to move from the ego self to our divine one and be able to hold more love for all at this time. Neutral witnessing and compassion are vital to continue being of assistance. Many of us are challenged in our personal and universal mission and experiences. And the difference between being balanced and becoming desperate is to remain in our higher hearts, in a space of compassionate witnessing to all. When we understand that in this plane we have free will and that love is freedom for all, we start moving from judgments to a more compassionate state of being. As we see that everything within this dual plane plays a unique role. And our task is to remain neutral allowing others to have their experiences for their personal growth. As you go through the energy, searching for different aspects, thoughts, beliefs, wounds, emotions, parts of the manifestation, you embody it as a whole, all that it is the challenging aspects and the positive aspects. You embody it in your physical body and your energy bodies. As you're embodying it, and as you're searching through the energies, you're actually transforming the manifestation. Or more accurately, you're transforming the way that you feel about it. The projections and the thoughts and beliefs that you have about this wish, this manifestation. Gradually, you begin to recognize that there might be one belief, one energy or one wound that is clearly blocking you from manifesting this dream. You can begin to ask yourself, where does this come from? How did I accept this belief or this emotion or this wound? How did I create this wound? The strongest thing I'm feeling is this, whatever is being cleared now in the collective cannot go forward into the new frequencies. This stops with us. These old contaminated patterns, programs, wounds, dysfunctions and dependencies cannot continue. Parasitic actions in humanity can no longer move forward. Humanity must live from their good self and personal inner power instead of harvesting energy from others. We all have brilliant energy available to us within. Every single one of us. Anything anchored in greed projects fear. 
or intentionally misleads to harvest power or light from others will not be tolerated much longer. This current clearing will affect many people who need outside validation, have difficulty being self-reflective, can't take accountability, and have learned that projecting their issues on others or blaming others helps them survive. We must be the living example of a different way. Compassion is not pity, which is easily confused in our human plane. By compassion, we understand a state of being in which we allow others to be, experience, and do what they need to for their journey. While we neutrally witness from a space of non-interference, for this is what love does. We understand everything within creation has its time to return to source, and our mission is to remain in the love that we are. Seeding harmony and peace and remaining in our power, for allowing others to be does not mean allowing others to harm us. As we always must keep our integrity and personal field protected. Now, more than ever, Earth and others who are stepping into this journey need our love and compassion to help them, as by holding more compassion we see more unity. You can invite that energy in from your soul, because your soul houses all forms of energies of the Creator, so everything is always available to you. If you've recognized a fear, then you might want to create the energy of safety, grounding or support. Often we do not manifest what we wish for because we feel unsupported maybe physically or by ourselves or by our guides or soul. You can draw all of these energies in and begin to create a core that's filled with success, fulfillment, momentum, creation, a grounding, an anchoring support and safety. Then you can let that energy fill your entire being because remember, you are sitting in the presence of what you wish to manifest. Then observe how that transforms the aspects of your being, the manifestation that you're sitting in. You might see your manifestation differently. You might see a pathway that needs to be unfolded. The more you sit in the energy of your manifestation, the more you will recognize it coming into your reality and that you are showing up as your manifestation. Therefore, the universe is responding to you with supportive energies or experiences that allow you to physically, as your manifestation, step into the reality of your manifestation. Thus, you are awakening manifestation for you. Because often it is not your ability to manifest that which requires healing or awakening. You are in this reality and one of the greatest tools that you automatically achieve is manifestation, the creating of the reality that you are experiencing. In many ways, there's no need to doubt your manifestation skills. It is just that, sometimes, manifestations are created. We might say, from uncertain energies that do not have the grounding, the safety, the support to assist them, 